All right, third time's a charm. That is how the McQuaid boys crew team feels about this year's Row for Hope. Once again, they plan to row 300 40 wow. miles, the entire Erie Canal, Buffalo to Albany, to raise money to fight cancer. And Hannah Welker is live on the water with the group this morning, or she was on the water earlier, uh, to see how they feel about this trip and kind of what's going through their minds as they get ready. Yeah, 340 miles, Norma. So this is the third year. I said third time's a charm because they're trying to raise $100,000 with this program. It is starting to rain a little bit, but I said, you're going to have to fight the elements, right? It's okay. Yeah, uh, John Curtis, you're one of the parents. Uh, you guys play a huge role in making this possible. Explain the prep that goes into this. Well, these guys are doing all the work, Hannah, but we're going to be the chase team, so <laughs> we're going to keep them cooled off, hydrated. We've got a safety launch that will follow them the whole way with one of the parents following. But all of us will jump ahead. We'll do their laundry. We'll cook their meals. <laughs> we'll go shop for wow. more gear. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of dirty clothes and a lot of water and wet and muddy. Um, there's no shade in the canal, so it'll be hot, it'll be cold, it'll be wet. Um, they're ready to do whatever it takes. They are, and some of this prep is right behind us here, guys. Uh, John, explain. I mean, this, these are some snacks. Yeah. We got the sunscreen. And the bug spray. Oh, and yeah. And the towels and the sleeping bags and the mats because they're going to be camping alongside the canal. So the whole 340 miles, we're going to stop eight nights. We have to have them prepped and ready to go every day about 6 a.m. to get back on the water. And then they row eight to ten hours per day to make the whole trek across New York State. Um, Unbelievable. One each, each guy gets his own bag. You guys can actually step in here. Guys. It's starting to sprinkle a little. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep them dry before they actually have to be outside. Um, talk about, guys, talk about this experience. This is the third year. So far, talk about the money you've raised so far, Sean. Uh, right now we're at about $27,000 and once we hit $30,000 that will be $100,000 overall for every single row. So it's going to be a huge mile marker for us. So any, but anything that can help really. Yeah, anything and a, a viewer, I meant to mention this earlier, a viewer asked how can you follow the group and you guys have a website, right? Rowforhope.net. Rowforhope.net and they can actually, uh, you guys will be updating Twitter and Facebook too. Correct. McHugh yeah. Row for Hope, so you can follow our progress. You'll, we'll be live tweeting. We'll be posting a video GoPro um, live from the boat along the way as they do this work. Um, that full eight days, the seven guys will take like two hour shifts. So they okay. row for two hours. Yep. Then we take them out into the safety launch for an hour so they can rest and hydrate. And then they're right back in for the rest of the day until they're done, until they get to that mile post. 34 locks so the small boat or shell that you were rowing in they've got to take into a lock they've got to transit this whole way up and down the state now you guys row often i'm going to go back to justice for the technical terms you were great at it you guys row for competition but you often row um as john said for like two minutes at a time for a race yeah uh, you, what are you what obstacles do you think you might face rowing for this long on a boat this small? Um, well, a lot of the things we do for um, our actual season, it's a lot shorter. Um, it's maybe for, at most, our races are about half an hour long for a 6K. So this is really going to be a test of our endurance and our, uh, our commitment to want to really keep going. So. You guys think you can do it? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, I think we can do it. <laughs> You're confident. Good. I like it. And, I mean, Johnny's a pro. Johnny's been here before. Yeah. So uh, confidence is key. And you got all these great parents. They're over there. They're all hiding from the camera. <laughs> None of the parents want to go. But i got to show you guys one more thing. You know, how dedicated I am to this group and the job. You know, I'm an official member. I got tatted up Woo. this morning, guys. <laughs> tatted up. <laughs> Okay, temporarily tatted yeah. up. Uh, Row for Hope, rowforhope.net. We'll be back in just a little bit to talk more about how you can um, donate money, raise money, and help the, help the team out along their way. So stick around. All right, boy, that guys. rain yeah. is coming down. Yeah, you can cool. hear it. Oh, check check out over that here. Thanks, Hannah. Oh, <laughs> Hope they don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Eight days, we're probably going to encounter some. Uh, all right, so there's that focus also focusing on raising awareness for prostate